Well, hello, Cake Salad. Today is the day of Black Sun. We will be invading the Fire Nation. Just kidding, that's Avatar The Last Airbender. But what today actually is, is a photo shoot opportunity I have. I am taking a friend's family portraits for a little bit of cha-ching so that I can um, have money for, like, gas, you know, to go to school so I can get an education. You know, that's something that I'm trying to do. So, <laughs> last week, Sarah had an existential crisis that I completely missed, and so so did Jared, and so did Jess, <laughs> uh, and I'm here just like dying from depression, <laughs> so we're doing great. Well, if you guys didn't know, I gave up on Vita on my main channel because it's kind of like really hard to do. <laughs> uh, I love my misery and failure. <laughs> anyway, on a more serious note, I just decided that I, I, I mean, I decided last minute to do it and I wasn't really into it. And I can do things I've never done before just because I want to, not because I need a challenge to do them. So, um, yeah, that's where I stand on that right now. Anyway, I need to get ready for this photo shoot. So I'm gonna drink some more coffee and I'm gonna stare at myself on this fucking, okay, hold on. Nope, that didn't work. I'm still staring at myself. So I just had a really nice long work shift, which is why my hair looks like garbage and why I look like garbage. So, hi. Jared, I hope this job opportunity that you're getting actually makes you like really happy because it sounds really fun, honestly. I think if I could give up fast food to just like go interact with like people in a place, what's, <sighs> I'm trying to say that it sounds cool, but like words don't work at almost midnight when I've been at work for nine hours. So, ah, <sighs> you know what I'm trying to say. Mm, oh, and I just got the notification that Cake Salad has uploaded a video. So I'm assuming I'm going to be watching Sarah's video in a minute. Actually, I'm going to watch it right now and I'll come back. I moved on to this couch so that I could retain some sort of continuity in my videos. Look, those are pictures I've taken along with those pictures over there. Black and white pictures hanging on the wall. So Sarah, I really do think you are the busiest person ever to be busy. And I feel overwhelmed a lot, but I think that's because I get overwhelmed with minimal tasks. Uh, and I really admire the fact that you can take on so much work and still handle yourself so well. I cannot. I pretty much just cry because I'm an adult. Do with that what you will, but I'm jealous. And Jared, I was really excited when you said that you were going to be a part of Rent, because Rent is probably a musical that has affected me the most. It's had a great impact in my life. Um, and fun fact, I actually watched Rent every night before I went to sleep for two years straight, my freshman and sophomore year in high school. So needless to say, I was obsessed. And Actually, it has an interesting kind of bit of information, a little story that goes along with the creation of Rent. Jonathan Larson, if you've watched the documentary that came with the DVD on the second disc, Jonathan Larson created this masterpiece, and the morning of the debut, they found him dead in his apartment. And the night before, he was making a cup of tea, and his aorta burst. So it was very much like he created his masterpiece to send out into the world, and that was what his life was meant to be and then it ended when it was done when it was ready when it was perfect um and so that's kind of very poetic and the very first performance they decided they were going to stand still on stage and just sing the songs which is where during seasons of love in the movie during the opening everybody's just standing on the stage under a spotlight singing seasons of love that's where that came from uh and by the time La Vie Boheme came around in the very first performance, they found themselves unable to contain the energy they were feeling. And so they were on the table, they were doing the performance, they were singing and dancing, filled with the energy and life of the musical. And everything went silent when the performance was over. Completely silent. You could hear a pin drop in the audience. And then one person spoke out and they said, thank you, Jonathan Larson. And when I heard that, I lost my shit. I cried for the longest amount of time over that because honestly, how fucking incredible is that? I mean, okay, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but yeah, it's kind of ridiculous how obsessed I was with it. Jess was talking a little bit about 
being aimless and I I think being aimless isn't a bad thing of course I think that's kind of what she was getting at but in the four years between high school and college I really got a chance to learn who I was and grow as a person as opposed to just getting shipped right into college and like you know dropping out because I hated school still like when I left high school I hated it I hated school I never wanted anything to do with it again and as I grew as I got older I realized you know I was very thankful for the ability to receive an education and I missed the fact that there was just a simple time in my life when I didn't have to worry about making money or paying the bills and all I had to worry about was the schoolwork I was given and I missed the challenge of working out my brain I missed mental challenges I missed just feeling like I was thinking instead of just doing manual labor all the time. And I think that's why I've met a lot of 18 year olds and people who have just gotten out of high school who sort of take their college career for granted. And you know, they're, they're very entitled. They're just worried about why won't mommy buy me the new MacBook Pro? Why is school so hard and difficult and I hate it and I don't even think I'm going to try or show up. I've met people who just don't seem to care. And I think that's mostly because they haven't had time to discover themselves and what they love. So now that I've had that little rant, um, I am very happy to announce that I am the new Pope. Just kidding. I'm not. But I always have to say something stupid for no reason. That's sort of my thing. Anyway, shout out to Yummy Water for probably being the only person other than Sarah, Jared, and Jess to watch these videos. And you're so cool. Like, honestly, you're so fucking cool. I love you. Will you marry me?